How lucky we are to have bighorn sheep in Wyoming. We draw inspiration watching them navigate the terrain of their historic range. The uniqueness and hardiness of bighorn sheep is evident in the seemingly impossible habitats they call home. Just being able to see bighorn sheep in the wild is a thrill for most people, and many hunters wait a lifetime for an opportunity to hunt one. We all want healthy, thriving, and wild bighorn sheep in Wyoming and across the West, but because of disease concerns, more sheep may not always be better. Bighorn sheep are very sensitive to bacteria that cause respiratory disease and may lead to deadly pneumonia outbreaks. When these outbreaks occur, 50 to 90 percent of the herd can die. Today, disease plays a major role in bighorn sheep conservation and management. Currently, the Ferris Seminole herd in central Wyoming is free of respiratory disease, but they are not free from disease risk. As this population grows, the more likely it is for sheep, particularly young rams, to leave a herd and move into other areas. These wandering sheep are at a higher risk of coming in contact with pneumonia-causing bacteria. When these wandering sheep return to their original herd, they may bring disease with them and could potentially cause widespread infection and even death in otherwise healthy sheep. Additionally, some of these infected individuals may survive and become carriers of respiratory pathogens, and they could be constantly infecting other sheep within their herd, especially young lambs. The Jackson herd, which lives in the Grovant mountain range, already has pneumonia-causing bacteria circulating in the population from past infections. As a result, this herd is prone to pneumonia die-offs when it exceeds a population of four to 500 animals. We have documented two clear cases where this happened. The herd had pneumonia die-offs when it reached these high numbers. Hundreds of sheep died, and then it took years for the population to recover. As the population grows above the population objective number, we see three things happen. One, fewer ewes are pregnant each year, resulting in fewer lambs. Two, sheep are in poor body condition, meaning that they don't have as much energy to fight off disease. And three, more sheep are infected with diseases. Overall, the herd is less healthy, not thriving, and headed towards a die-off. A staple of wildlife management is considering how many healthy animals an area can support based on available food, water, shelter, and space, and managing for that number through tools such as hunting. In addition to these natural resources, wildlife managers must consider other factors that may limit the health of a population, such as disease. For decades, moving bighorn sheep to supplement or start new populations has been a common management technique. However, we have learned that translocating sheep carrying respiratory pathogens can worsen disease problems. Given the complexity of respiratory disease in bighorn sheep populations in Wyoming, it is crucial that we protect the sheep we have. When considering relocating sheep from overpopulated herds that are known to harbor harmful diseases, the risk of spreading disease outweighs the benefits. Harvest strategies can address specific management needs and is a common method to manage wildlife populations. Traditionally, bighorn sheep harvest in Wyoming has been limited to rams only, but Wyoming has a long history of using female harvest in other species to maintain wildlife populations at the desired herd size. For bighorn sheep, the trend is clear. When populations exceed desired numbers, bad things start to happen. Hunting only males is not effective at managing a population. Reducing the number of ewes through harvest effectively curbs population growth because ewes are the major driver of population growth through reproduction. Harvesting ewes can make populations more resilient, stable, and healthy at desired objectives and aligns with bighorn sheep management across the West. By preventing large-scale disease die-offs through managed ewe harvest, we aim to stabilize populations and increase their resilience to respiratory disease outbreaks. Lastly, what's good for bighorn sheep is good for everybody. More healthy, stable populations result in more opportunities to view sheep in places like the Grovant, National Elk Refuge, and areas around the Miracle Mile. 
This translates into more hunting opportunities for the public over the long term. These situations provide direct opportunities for hunters to contribute to the management of healthy and sustainable bighorn sheep populations in Wyoming.